Hey guys, Olaf here from LSE. So, this is continuing the build actually on my pressure washing trailer. I needed a shelf or stand or rack, whatever you want to call it, above my tanks where I store my chemicals in. And so, what I use is here leftover pieces of as you can see a folded bed frame it's a steel bed frame which I cut into small pieces it's pretty much like angle iron um, welded quickly a frame out of it um, didn't notice that I didn't have turned on the camera when I did the uh, frame build in the beginning but so here you're gonna see actually legs being cut which is one inch square tube and one eighth Think, uh, thick where the um, top platform which is right now li lays on the bottom is just regular angle iron which I use from an old bed frame uh, which I found on the side of the road I just picked it up just for metal to turn it in but it's all it's actually pretty good angle iron it's an eighth of an inch barely an eighth of an inch thick but it's an inch by an inch so it's pretty nice comes in handy for stuff like that around the shop um, every now and then I need some of these pieces you see another piece laying there up in the tough built um, jack stands or stands here in the front which are gonna cut into pieces later on off camera but right now the square tubing is 20 inches long so that rack is actually 20 inches above the chemical tank which you're gonna see here in the background already the two small 25 gallon white uh, HTP tanks so on the right one is actually where I install that rack above so that I can um, put my diaphragm pump and also my valves for the soft wash roof setup there on top so I sped up the video so watch and enjoy I come back uh, later and at the end you get actually gonna see also a final product of the installation So here you see up close me MIG welding with flux core 035 or 030. I think it's 030 actually. The legs and the feet for this stand. And as you see, I didn't do a lot of prepping since I'm welding relatively hot, so it burns through. The rust material without a problem it just right. this is gets one of it my done. Doesn't spanners are useful. My require any code compliance or whatnot. So when you weld Sanders? stuff like that, just laying on top, uh, you need something to hold it down. So when you weld, that it doesn't slip and slide on you. Um, 
because with the MIG gun you poking pretty much with that wire and that can be enough to actually move your your piece out of position. So, right now I'm just tagging it and once the two pieces are tagged proper then I actually start doing the drills. Now you can see right now there I did a screw up, didn't pay attention. I actually welded my um, adjustable spanner for my grinders by accident. Nothing biggie, but um, so now it's tacked in place. Now I just start from one of the tags and laying a full bead in. Ideally you want to clean the surface, but for this type of a project I really don't have to do it because the flux core, I'm burning it extremely hot so it burns off all the rust um, as, as soon as I get pretty much a ground connection I just burn it through it, liquefy the whole steel and um, yep. off you go. But it takes some practice to actually know that you can do it so don't try that at home, but it's an easy way to get stuff done quickly. Um, later on I actually had to um, brush off with the grinder, with the sand disc, all of that mill scale and rust, which is on the pieces before I actually apply the primer. Now I'm actually spraying primer onto the steel which I have first um, sanded down 
of all the rust. So as you can see that primer has a blue touch to it because it's a paint and primer in one really for metal but that can is almost empty so I said okay just use it. And there you can see actually the bad frame that's the other half of it which are gonna cut off camera apart into pieces. It's pretty much free steel, free angle iron. So now you see all primed up and I brush on real oil paint, uh, white, flat white, so it blends in with the trailer better, um, where black would stand out too much, so this time I decided white since tanks are all white so it blends in with it. So now you see it pretty much painted all the way, later on I zipped it around and painted the back side as well. Alright, here's the final install. So if you like those type of videos, please like and subscribe, leave comments below. Thanks for watching, have a good one.